Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to set up a Facebook video ad. These are becoming very popular, having really great results lately, and there's a lot of different opportunities and options you can use with them. So I just want to show you the basics today of how to get that going. And over the next weeks, couple of months here, we'll be talking about the details and how to really dive into these video ads and taking it to that advanced level. So first off, we like to set them up just like we would our recent uh, fan page ads where we're having the conversion is a website conversion um, objective to our ad. So we need to do that through the power editor, editor here to create this ad. So first off, we're going to go into the ads category and we'll cl click the create new. We'll set up a new campaign name. This one will be called Necklace Store One. WC. Buying type is auction, objective, like I said, website conversion. I'm going to use this video ad to actually send viewers to a store page that has multiple products in the video. Our first ad set will go with US Women. We're hitting a fantasy nerd type niche, so we'll just start off with the Harry Potter interest. And we'll break it down from there. This is a video ad. We'll make it mobile and desktop. Alright, we'll use the existing pixel. Create new, and then the ad name doesn't really matter unless you're going to test the variations there, but I don't do that right now. All right, now we need to edit this, and we add all the content, so this is where we can have the video added. We're going to associate this with our fan page. For this one, we're going with... Yeah. We're going single image or video and link. Website URL. Grab this store URL. That's fine there. Very simple text these days. I'm liking this little heart at the beginning as well. Works well. Line. So that's a good text in there. Now we need to add the video. Just like video instead of image here. And really the toughest part of this is creating these videos. You gotta create each one, it takes a little bit of time, <clears throat> costs a little bit of money if you're outsourcing it. But there's some tools out there that are coming up. I got a lot of cool little features I'm gonna show you over the next couple of weeks here that make that a lot simpler. You can see what I've been doing lately with my video ads. I have a case study on that coming next week. All right. Now you want to check Make sure we have a good thumbnail. As you can see, I'm just pushing some necklaces here, just all my different necklaces. So that is the thumbnail. You can use tracking codes, your tags, make sure the right pixels chosen. You only want one, the necklace store. Here's what an ad would look like, except it would <clears throat> have this thumbnail. Let's 
change this to by yours here. All right, that looks good for the ad. Now we need to go to the ad set and change our targeting. Conversion pixel set. We're going to go $5 a day start. <clears throat> Our audience, as we mentioned, the ad set name will be 1824. Women interests will be Harry Potter for our first ad set. And the cool thing about this, we're sending to a store. We can hit all different types of niches, different uh, movies, and all the different niches we're hitting on the store, the different angles. So test a lot of different things, including behaviors and uh, the expanded demographics. Click save placement. We're going mobile and desktop to start. Optimization looks good, looks good. And then we just want to double check the campaign, make sure it's set up correctly. Website conversion <clears throat> from here, we can if we want to do my usually for this uh, nerd type niche video game fantasy stuff, we're hitting about 18 to 35. So we're going to set up two ad sets where the first is 1824 and the second is 25 to 34. So cool thing about Power Editor is you can quickly duplicate and just kind of expand on what you want to split test. And there's tools to make this a lot quicker as well. So let's go ahead and make that split test just real quick. Just got to change the audience. All right, so now we have two ad sets ready to go. Like I said, we got about nine necklaces on the store, so we have, and they're all different niches, different uh, popular fantasy nerd type niches. So we can start expanding our major interest into those niches as well. So we'll just go ahead and click the upload changes. And as long as everything's worked out okay, it should upload and be good to go. And if it has any problems, it'll tell you an errors on this screen right here. Looks good. We got our ads coming. Now they just need to get reviewed as usual. And the video ads will start uh, running. Facebook will start optimizing for conversions. And just add it into the mix of what we got going on there. We'll, uh, you know, I'll have a case study, like I said, next week. That I'll be explaining everything we got going on with this and how it's turning out for us. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Video ads seem to be kind of the next wave of the... Uh, you know, beating the ad blindness from your, your audience. So hope you guys enjoyed this. My name is Travis Patel. I will talk to you soon.